What's going on, guys? It's Blake with the Six Year One here with another video. Today I'm coming at you with some sumo uh, battle. I think it's called. I don't know. It might just be called sumo on the It's Jerry and Harry server. If you don't know who It's Jerry and Harry is on YouTube, just uh, check them out on YouTube. Their username is It's Jerry and Harry. Pretty straightforward. If you want to go on the server, just type in um, on the IP. Go to It's Jerry. Um, I think it's like It's Jerry and Harry dot com. Something like that. I think it's pretty easy, I don't know. Check it out on the Starry and Harry um, channel. They'll tell you their server IP. It's one of the funnest, one of the most fun servers on Minecraft, that would, in my opinion at least. It, it may not be for you, but there's so many game modes you can do, and it's just good to know that you're on actually a, a really, one, 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 in my opinion, the funniest and one of the best you, uh, Minecraft YouTuber channels on YouTube right in, at the moment. Yeah, um, I do like Captain Sparkles and, you know, people like that, but in my opinion, they are the funniest and they are one of the coolest. And we're about to start. I'm red, right? Alright, let's go. So, what sumo is? Oh, I it died. Yeah, I'm, hold on one second. That's my fault. What sumo is? is you're either red or blue team, and you have a sword, and you have to knock the other players off, like a, um, sumo round. Sorry, I, um, hiccuped right there. So, yeah, as you can see, with that, it's not like this every round. Each round it rotates, so this one is like an enchantment table with, um, bookshelves, which is really cool. So, next round, I think, you know, we'll be somewhere else. Maybe we'll be on a tree. Maybe it'll be like an I on an ice wasteland. You never know. Yeah, see, we're on uh, ice right now, and we are red. So, anyways, I realized something. Oh, leg. So, I think I said this in my um, first the episode before this, the roller coaster taken three episode. I said uh, thank you for. I think I said this. Yeah, yeah, I did. Thank you for the uh, two two thousand viewed videos. My, two of my videos have reached 1,000 views, which is pretty cool. But actually, it's not my first. This is actually my third. And I say that because... What? Oh. I say this because this is not on my channel, but when I was about six or five, I made a uh, video called Blake Power Ranger. And currently, that has about 70,000 uh, views. If you don't know what the video... If you've never seen that video, go check it out. It's called... Lake Power Ranger, it will be the first result. Yeah, it's pretty epic. Check it out. So, also, when I looked at my two videos that have a thousand views, I realized that one of them is how to make a Pokemon deck, and the other one is best Pokemon cards ever, I have them. Now, those are both Pokemon videos, am I right? And my third video that is uh, viewed is um, Yu-Gi-Oh! How to make a Yu-Gi-Oh deck, I think. I think that's my third most popular, and then it's like Super Mario Flash Glitch. Something like that. I don't know. So anyways, I realized those Pokemon videos, so I'm wondering if I should make Pokemon videos again. Even, I mean, I just started playing Pokemon again, like the video game. It's pretty fun. I mean, I started playing Black 2. I never actually finished the game. I, only, I didn't get that far. I only got like three gym badges. But I realized... Once I got past the annoying gym leader, um, Elite Malga or Elisa, whatever her name is, she was really annoying, uh, cause, like, all my Pokemon were, like, um, not, not good against electric types. Um, so, I, I quit the game for a long time, I just started playing Pokemon White because I already beat the game, I had, like, maxed Pokemon, like, that's my Pokemon level 100. But, aside from that, I started playing Pokemon, so I could these like Pokemon video game tips but I don't know cuz I don't know if people are gonna view it but I also realized something I am a Call of Duty fanatic I love Call of Duty just saying and I also love video games but I, don't, I only do like computer games as I showed you when I do video games so I know I never recorded any screen videos because I actually tried recording one for Black Ops 2 it was um really good hammer class it was a really stupid video because what happened was I never actually used the hammer before but as I was making the video I just went along with like what attachment sounded good for the hammer 
So then I just did it, and I was really, I was really bad at the game. So like, even though I was playing against beginner, uh, know, versus boss with that class, I still died every once in a while. But yeah, because that's how bad I was. But if I did it now, I could probably be like 17 0 versus boss, even like on hard difficulty, because like I'm prestige one at the moment. So yeah, that, that may not seem like a lot, but trust me, it's a lot. I have a lot of stuff unlocked, a lot of guns unlocked. Yeah. So, aside from that, I know it's a lot of money, like, it's, like, upwards from $30 to, like, two, like $150 to record your screen, to, like, record Black Ops 2 and videos like that, video, uh, like, your PS3 videos. I know it's, like, $150, like, to get, like, a good 720, 180p, I think it's called a capture card, I don't know if I'm right, correct me if it's not, but I think it's called a capture card. And you can record your screen basically, like you attach it to your computer and it goes like directly. It's not like a live stream, you can just record your video. But I really want to get that. Because, did we win? Oh yeah, we won. Look at that. But yeah, I really want to get this. Because I can, because I love video games and I'm really good at them. Like, I'm going to give a lot of shout outs to a lot of different video gaming people right now. I, um, want to record NBA 2K videos and and um black ops videos and i think that they would get really popular because i recently had a game i got like 50 kills and like 15 deaths i know some people are like 203 and all but it was a really good game because they weren't i wasn't versing noobs i was versing full grown like prestige people yes we were playing in nuketown but it was still epic now i don't want to do the um elite thingy where you can like edit your video because you can only record two minutes and I don't want to do a live stream because that's going to take forever and I have to make like two hour videos when you do a live stream and no one's going to watch it because I'm not that popular on YouTube yet but if I just made regular videos it would be really good so I think it would be good would you guys watch any of my videos that I made if I made Black Ops videos or um, NBA videos because I on MB, when M, like NBA 2K13 I envy Chris Smooth I envy K Spade the Prospect. I um I envy QJB. You know, all those people, you know? Uh D Man Unit. You know, uh, whatever whoever else there is that I I'm like subscribed to like fifteen uh NBA video, like YMD TV. Shout out to all those people. And then for Black Ups, I'm I like envy like Speedy, I envy like Troll Munchies, again Chris Smooth, I envy uh like infrared, per, uh, pure permage, all those people, because they're all beasts. They're all amazing players, and I envy them. They are who I want to be, and I think I can be them. I am better. I'm, I don't mean to brag right now, but I I feel that I am better at lots of the sumo. What? Oh, okay. So, anyways, I believe that I can that I am stronger and better than lots of NBA 2K13 players. Like, I can drop 60 when I feel like it. Like, I don't have to try. I can just drop as many points as I want. Like, some games I'll be like, all right, I want to get 31 points before halftime. And, all right, this game I want to get exactly 65 points, and I can get it. I know how to do it. But sometimes I'll only get, like, did we seriously win right now? Ugh, oh, freaking, like, it would only take, like, um, like, sometimes, some games I could also do, like, score, like, score only, like, 25 points, but I would get a triple-double. I would get, like, 12 rebounds and, like, 20 assists. So I can do whatever I really want. Uh, I think I play on All-Star, or, I don't, I don't know, yeah, I play on All-Star. I know that's a low game mode. I used to play on Pro, so I could get, like, 100 points, like, whenever I wanted, but... My stats are max. I could play on Hall of Fame if I wanted to, and I like tried that every once in a while. But I play. I want. It doesn't matter what difficulty I'm playing on. I can make it rain. I can dunk. I can't dunk like QJB, like doing like between the legs. I can't like dunk like Nike Faller. But I can dunk. I can do like tomahawks. I can do a windmill. You know, every once in a while, you know, I'll just like dunk over a person. I'll shoot. I can, and I can make it rain. That's my specialty I can make like I set the record in my game for like 
16 threes in one game. My mo most points I scored is 104. It's pretty crazy. I have also an unfair advantage because I got drafted to the uh, Philadelphia 76ers. But they sucked so much. I wasn't that good at the game when I got drafted to them. So I demanded I got traded to the Oklahoma City Thunder. Yeah, um, when I, once I got there, I was actually pretty bad. I only averaged like, I was coming off the bench, I averaged like 11 points a game. But once I got better, towards the end of the season, like the last, uh, I would say, last 10 games, first game I scored like 26 points. Then the next game I started scoring like 30. Then the next game I got like 40. Then the next game I got like 60. Then the next game I got like 70. So, you know what I mean? Like, the last 10 games, I scored like crazy, and I tried to score as much as I can in those last 10 games when I was really good, when I started to get really good, because I wanted to get my scoring, uh, my, um, points per game, excuse me, my points per game up. I ended the season with 18.5, 18.5 points, I think it was, but it was, it's not that much, but that's like how much an average player would do. But in the playoffs, I averaged 70 points. Just saying. But then I started to try and go for triple doubles because all I was doing was scoring in that. Um, that's why I averaged 70. I scored 104 in the playoffs. That's why I like averaged 70. But yeah, then I started going for like lots of assists and lots of rebounds. Then I would drop down to like 45 points a game, and I still got triple doubles. I was in the Western Conference Finals. I wanted to get to the second season. I wanted to get the playoffs over. So I purposely lost the playoffs. It was game seven. It was versus the Lakers in the Western Conference. I per It was a close game. And we could have won, but I purposely played uh, bad in the last few minutes of the game. I, like, hogged the ball and shot half-court shots in the last few minutes because I didn't want our team to win. And I didn't. I just wanted to be done with the playoffs get in the regular season so I could start out so I didn't average like 70 points in the playoffs. I wanted to average the season with about like 22 points like a normal person and average a triple double. I never averaged a triple double this season. I didn't even come close to it. I averaged like three assists, four rebounds a game. I wanted to get like average like 15 rebounds, you know, 20 assists a game and get also average like 22. It's not that hard to do if you think about it. Chris Smoove Got 25 uh, triple doubles in the past 25 games he played. If you think about it, it's really hard, but if you think about it, it's not that hard. If you know what you're doing and you know how to play, you can do anything. So, yeah, if you do, if you know what you're doing and you try hard, you can do anything. Lady Y'all, Yo Homie Blake, out.